Hello everybody, so my name is Eddie Dear Friends and I am planning to finish this game. With that said, uh, I am going to do Stalker, Stalker uh, second installment and Stalker Call of Duty Ad. The second installment is Clear Sky and the first installment is Shadow of Chernobyl. Uh, the game uh, has been released in 2007 and we are gonna play the game with 280 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM and Ryzen 9. Maximum graphics and the version is 1.006. Maximum graphics as I said and I'm gonna do all of the quests and side quests. And the only thing I'm gonna restrain myself from doing is picking up hidden loot. And I am going to try to find all the perfect artifacts. So it's 2020. Why am I doing Stalker? Well, simple. Stalker 2 has been announced coming in 2021, probably, but has been delayed several times, so I don't know. But the game is a pretty huge thing for me because uh, I usually do not play horror games I could classify this one as a horror game and I rarely play first person shooters I like Stalker because it has that element of RPG in it with the gear and powering up especially in the later installments Clear Sky and Call of Prepad because you can actually modify the weapons and boost them how you like with that said let's start a new game I am gonna play on a veteran because I did play the game before I don't like to play on master because the enemies are really spongy and it just takes away from the experience I think they should balance that out for anybody who didn't play the game before the game is based in Chernobyl there is an exclusion zone around the nuclear power plant and the nuclear power plant exploded for the second time causing all sorts of random stuff to happen as you will see This one seems to be alive. What a lucky guy. At least death would have saved him from the dreams. Let's go and see what value Sidorovich will put on your head. What have you got? A body. It came from the death truck. It's got the mark. Well, you know the drill. Leave him on this the... This is a live one. Bullshit. You are lying. Let the zone take me if I am. Put it here.
I think. For this one, I can give you. And basically we start. <coughs> so Mark One, I saved you. And I'm not going to pretend I did it to win favors upstairs. You do some jobs for me, and we're even. Besides, keeping you busy might be a good way to deal with your amnesia. And I'll see what I can find out about your problem. I don't give a shit why you want to find this fella guy. I mind my own business. If you want to kill him, well, you must have your reason. What are you standing there for? Come closer. So basically we have Minesia, we don't know who we are, what we are, and what are we doing here. And the point of the game is to figure that out. The choice is yours. Either I brainwash you like I usually do with all the rookies, or I treat you like a real stalker and I give you a mission straight away. I am gonna keep it easy, just give me a mission you got because a job for I did play the game before. So, our current mission is hunting, go to the leader of this current village talk with him he's gonna instruct you to kill some bandits and that's it come over here we need to talk okay so we need to go and save nimble before we go there let's just test, test out the controls because I actually didn't play it in a long time there we go, the the knife. Some boxes in the game can be broken, usually the boxes that look like that. Bread, oh, our energy drinks, that's always good. So yeah, some boxes can be broken. These boxes over here are your storage lockers. You can store anything in there and it will wait for you next time you get over there. It's really good if you want to store something that you don't want to get rid of. Another thing that I managed to figure out while playing the game. Let's go inside here, break these boxes, should be something in there, energy drink, vodka, good if we get ir irradiated. And then this is my fir uh, first favorite thing in game you can do, if I do it correctly. Okay, so far so good. Jump, perfect, took a little bit, ah, I didn't take any damage there, good. And then crutch. Crouch, low crouch. Uh, can I reach that? There we go. And there should be an, a really decent suit here. There we go, and now we're ready to game on. That's gonna appear every single time there, and if you need it, grab it. It's pretty easy to do when we get the hang of it. One of these houses, yeah, this one over here, if you go downstairs, you're going to find your first artifact, which is stone blood, which we are actually going to put on because health is always nice. And since we have that epic suit, it's going to be useful. We have our first gun, first weapon, so we're going to use it. On the right side, if you're bored, you've got an army base which can be cleared on easy and you can basically get everything you need for the next two hours of game without picking up anything but uh, you will lose like 10 minutes on clearing it out and usually you die because they have AKs and armor and you have a gun. You pick up this medkit and help the guy out just Kill so he can brother. Take the med kit. Thank you, one. Just so we can gain You're some okay. friends, you know and he's green on our cursor. But he's our friend, and that improves the reputation of the other people around us. I'm on top of this one. I really need to remember top keys. Pick up the ammo. Okay, and off we go to our quest. Now usually I like to clear it alone, but this time around I'm gonna, since we're playing on veteran and it's down, man. Let it's gonna be harder, we're gonna use them and they will help us out. 
Men, Wolf here sent us some support along with the order to attack. Time to move on and be heroes. And let's just create a quick save. And it's there. So if we die, we're gonna start from that point. Now if you go really, really low, I can't remember which hotkey is to crutch down to low crutch controls. A low crutch is X. So if you go really, really low, you can see the cursor becomes more precise because you're steady. And you can see the distance meter. I like to play with that doesn't actually help you a lot but you know it's a nice addition to the game oh stop moving me so if you don't help them out they will not clear the area on their own so you need to do a lot of work here now he's coming in okay one down there should be one in the window here. Oh, headshot, nice. They like to go inside these little houses here. Let's try and take them out before they take our guys out. Oh, boom, headshot, nice. That's an enemy. I don't think I'm gonna hit him from here. There we go. Oh, there's one in the garage over there. Let's try going inside. Oh, no, 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 it. Okay, it's better from here. Oh, I missed him. There we go. And you can see the gray dots on the map. Those are the bodies that I haven't looted. So I'm just gonna leave it for later. Oh. Good, is anybody hiding? Now oh, he's not gonna budge until I kill all of the enemies. I can't actually see the enemies anywhere. Oh, there we go. Let's loot everybody, because looting on the beginning in the beginning of the game is a very essential. Because you start basically oh. without anything. Sorry, Nimble, you're gonna stay there for a little bit. There we go, he's our friend now because we saved him basically. And guys, I know my English is not perfect, it's far from, it's far from perfect. <coughs> it's my fourth language, so sorry guys if I make mis mistakes. It will happen. That should be it. Now let's free Nimble. I owe you, brother. Now you could, you could kill him to speed up the game, but I'm not, because I'm gonna be a good guy this time around. And then upstairs, we should find some loot somewhere. Nothing there. There's a loot box, nothing in it. These can be broken. And one more here. Oh, I missed it. 
there we go and the last let's see what's gonna happen uh, I know you can hear my keyboard it's a fully mechanical Corsair RG something I actually love this keyboard because the the keys are very meaty and when you buy it you get a full set of extra keys that, you, that are fully customizable which is really nice because you can actually distinguish the keys without looking at them uh, just by the touch and I yeah I'm gonna take the side quest for, for from him pretty easy one and it it's just close by so might as well do it right now it should be at the end of this road and if we take a look at the map Yep, the side quest is here. And Nimble basically heard about the perfect suit that's there. We're gonna go and kill the monsters on our way and grab the epic suit. That's our first anomaly. And if you didn't know, you can use the bolt, which you have the perfect like unlimited supply of, to test it out. We are definitely gonna use those in near future and through the entire game. Now the key with the mutants is to never run out of stamina. When you run out of stamina, you're done for. Because that's where they get you. When they get you. Now there should be a nasty creep over here. You're gonna hear him right now. There we go. Run. Oh, I know. Now this one is an upgraded version of the ones I killed, but he goes down easy. And the perfect suit is here. We got it, and now let's go back to Nimble and just complete that side quest. Oh, look at that one. I never seen him here before. In the bum. And dogs can actually drop items that carry some value with them. Early game, it's much better than selling other stuff. But we are unlucky. Okay, we're actually getting quite heavy. So let's use an energy drink just to replenish our stamina and run back quickly to Sidorovich. And Sidorovich is gonna give us a new quest. Uh, and every time you loot somebody, they will have, they can have information about their stash. Now you can go and explore those. I'm just gonna explore them if they are on my way. And one of them is there. Yeah, it's heading straight forward. Now, oh. Okay, I just need to aim be precise because not a lot of shotgun sh shells I don't have a lot of shotgun shells left and I'm bleeding and this is our hidden stash worth it definitely now artifacts wise the first one I picked up gives me health and Reduces impact rupture and broker cap. Basically, hits from monsters will cause more damage. Uh, bullet hits will cause more damage. But since I have a good suit, that's negating, and I'm still not gonna be one-shotted. 
And on the positive side, I, my health has increased by 200%. So first part of the game did go smooth, smoother than I expected it to go. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I did expect to struggle a little bit more on veteran, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, I should find Nimble, who is sleeping here. Oh, he's not there anymore. Interesting map. Um, tasks. Oh, Nimble. Uh, oh, why is he? He's chilling there. Interesting. I better go and see what's happening with him. Because actually, Nimble in the second and the third installment of the game is a pretty huge character. But I kind of like Nimble. So let's go and see what's happening with him. And you can use your map to navigate it easy easier when you're running through like I'm doing right now what are you doing are you sleeping in the middle of nowhere Jesus there we go we received our second artifact that's it Nibble has nothing. Stone flower increases our bulletproof, but we get irradiated. So let's see if we can sell it. No, he doesn't have enough money. Now there are perfect artifacts in the game. Those perfect artifacts will just give you positive stats without taking anything away. We are definitely gonna look for them. You know, perfe per perfectionist side of me. It's really nice to have perfect artifacts like. The ones that give you more HP, bulletproof cap, or even more stamina. And then let's get rid of our junk. Pocket storage, get some money. And continue our investigation into the zone and just who we are. I'm not gonna spoil it and you can see in this area over here the quality of your weapon the condition so as this decreases the weapon will start to jam so you de definitely want to have a weapon with the highest amount of condition our gun is new so that's good the other gun can go you can unload weapons but can't be bothered because ammo is everywhere and I'm gonna sell the stone blood. Not bad. Uh, that's some a good start. Good stuff you've got there. Let's grab some medic med kits, some energy drinks. And let's grab two of these. We are good. Not bad. Now that's the way to go. Okay, let's see. So we received some money and a flash drive. So Our next mission is. Listen, Martla, I've done some thinking, and here's what I'd like to offer. Generally speaking, what you really need is to find Strelok, right? Anyway, here's the thing about Strelok. There's a stalker that goes by this name. Mm. They say he's found a path to the northern reaches of the zone. That is a virgin area, a real gold mine for artifacts. All right, Liz. Once you have the briefcase, you'll need to go north through the garbage. Then, and then, so basically, our next mission is to meet with a courier, grab something for him, from him, and return to the storage. Originally, so we have four quests. Those are time side quests. So if I don't do them in time, then I will fail. I'm gonna take all four of them and see how the game progresses maybe I can do it do them while I'm doing the main quest if I don't do them you can go back and if I don't do them and fail them you can
can always go back and retake them. All of the jobs. Now let's just see our map and just set out, set up a plan how we're gonna do it. So this one is okay. So we need to assassinate somebody. Oh no. Okay, so kill some mutants and then we're gonna explore the abandoned mill and then meet with. Well. Good hunting, What's the name of the guy? Doctor. Journeyman. And there is an area over there where you can grab some artifacts, but I will... Ah, right, let's go there. Why not? Just for the kicks. I actually missed this area. Ooh, I don't like that noise. Just think about it, man. Look at Next that. Time. A lot of first time players miss this area. But you can actually explore it and pick up some nice artifacts, just helping you out in early game. Now, this is clear, I can just walk through it and grab it. And then, is there anything else around? Okay, we can loot this one. Nothing in it. Back to bolts. Oh, come on, jump on. There we go. There's nothing there, even though it's beeping. Artifacts, nothing. Nothing on the other side. Yeah, pretty, pretty empty for a zone that has so many anomalies now. I don't think I can exit through this side. It's gonna be alright. That's gonna be alright. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, let's go back, it's just annoying me. I need to find a way to exit. Uh, okay, there's something there here. Too bad I cannot exit the way I came in, would be too easy, right? There's an anomaly there, what about here? Yeah, we're good to go. And then just toss them as you're moving. I can see one over there. Mm -hmm. Here? It's gonna be alright. Let's change to our weapon because we are gonna need it. Let's get our shotgun with two shells. Oh. Yeah, that's just the sign for the radiation area that we came out from. Okay. We have a friend here. And we need to go towards the quest. We are not gonna help the guy because it's just a waste of time. Ouch. Let's bandage up. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. I didn't clear all of these mutants, did I? Let's just inspect them. Maybe we can find something valuable on them. Nothing. Okay, so let's clear out the first quest. Ooh, nice reflexes. And now this is gonna be painful. This quest is actually very annoying because the dogs will run and run around. And it's 
it's actually much harder to get him when they're running. And they are scattered all over the area, so now I have to find the remaining dogs and just kill them. Which is actually very annoying. Because you don't know which dogs are allocated to this quest. It would be much easier if they just ran to me. And the quest is not showing you where the dogs are at. Definitely hear them. Mm -hmm. Where are you, doggy? Let's get a vantage point to use the binoculars. Maybe they will pick something up. Oh, that's the white white one don't go that way I'm definitely hitting him Jesus he's gonna go to the gonna yeah nice military got him okay so now I'm just gonna explore his body hopefully the military will not be aggressive towards me yeah they are not they will so you can pass that area we will get to that later we did com complete the quest which it's good. Now, our main quest is over here. We need to meet with the guy who's dead. We got the flash from him, and now. We need to continue. Now, we, if you want, want to continue, we need to pass the cordon. And to pass the cordon, there are two options go through here and just suffer go through the military cordon uh, by killing them all which is nice because you get weapons but i don't need them because i'm gonna get them anywhere anyways it's just a waste of time the second thing you can do is pay them to pass and i do not want to do that and the third thing is to be clever and just climb over and continue which we are going to do but before we're gonna ex explore this mill area because there there are a few goodies I can show you. So you can pick up the suit that's hidden over there. Be careful not to shoot this container or hit it because it's gonna explode while you're opening the rest of the containers. And there's nothing there. And then this container over here. And there's a stock over here. Pick up the items from him. If you need some extra ammo, you can get ammo from him. Now, sometimes there is an invisible mutant here. Uh, I don't remember what's the name of him. What's his name? But they are pretty tough at this point of the game and they could kill you potentially. Now, there is an artifact over there which you cannot reach because of the anomaly there and usually you cannot grab it from here because it's too far now the way I get that artifact is by shooting it clever right and it just moves to the corner and then you should be able to grab it from here uh, I've seen uh, there we go Come on. I 
I should be able, there we go. Ah, got it. And that's a stone flower and jellyfish. We had the jellyfish for the first quest and we did clear the area of mutants for the second quest. Last thing, there is, there are some items up there you can pick up. So let's do that. Have you seen the military over there on the cordon being red on the map? If you approach them without weapons, they will not be aggressive towards you. If you approach them with a knife, I don't know. But I explained the ways you can get around it. Oh, also, there is a hidden area over here that sometimes appears on your map when you kill a stalker and get his stash info. And the stash is over here. That is useful because usually it holds an artifact okay with that said we're gonna stop on our first part and next part we are gonna traverse over the cordon and continue the quest thank you for watching and see you on the second part